Hi guys, um, so this is Freddie's nine week update. He is, today he is nine weeks and two days. Um, he's eating at the moment. Oh, there he is. Okay, um, there's not really much to update on this week. Um, so I'll kind of just bash it out quickly. Um, so I haven't had him weighed since um, last Monday, so I'm probably guessing that he. I think I told I told you all how much he weighed in the last video. But yeah, the last time I weighed him was last Monday, and he was 11 pounds 12 ounces. But I am getting him weighed. I am getting him weighed on Thursday. Um, as well as seeing a breastfeeding counsellor um, to talk about um, getting my supply up and things like that because um, I'm not I'm not happy with bottle feeding. Um, there's just so much extra stuff to worry about and um, after finding out today that um, I think that we've been doing it wrong all this time and it's just... Because in the UK, the NHS um, promote breastfeeding like so much that when I did ask about bottle feeding, they point blank, well, the person I spoke to point blank just said that they don't discuss about bottle feeding um, and wouldn't give me any help on it. So um, today at my, um, like, sort of like a mummy meetup class, um, I got this. So it's the NHS um, bottle feeding pamphlet and it just goes through about um, sterilising and how to um, bottle feed. And I mean, Freddie will be 10 weeks old on Sunday. It is uh, Tuesday today. Um, so he'll be 10 weeks old on, on Sunday. And um, so it's taken me this long to get that pamphlet and it's ridiculous. So, um, so, yeah, um, I'm watching X Factor at the moment. There's a guy that's just come on and he's crying. Yeah, anyway, so, um, Fred, how is Freddie? He is, he had his injections today. Um, it's just so everyone knows, it's the 13th of September. Oi! 13th of September, and he had his jabs today. Um, I'm not 100% which ones they are. They're in his red book. You guys will all know which ones they are. it is, but I don't. But yeah, they're, um, I don't know off the top of my head. But yeah, um, it went, it went like I thought it was going to go. Um, obviously he, the, you have two injections. Oh. The first one was um, okay. He he didn't cry. He was just a bit shocked by it. But then the second one, he absolutely screamed boom, blue murder. But um, luckily, I took. Um, uh, luckily, I took the rest of his bottle so that he could have the rest of his feed there. And then I had his dummy and things like that and a cuddle from mummy. So he was all right. So. Um, um, but he's got two little uh, red dots on his legs now. Um, he had the he had the injections at quarter past twelve, so um, he's well, he's all right now. Can you see? Um, so yeah, uh, well, we'll see later on tonight how that goes. But for the time being, he's all right. Um, he's been a little bit fussy, but not really that bad to be honest. Um, so he's still on size two nappies. I'm thinking about putting him onto threes because he started, um, well, he's definitely leaked out a couple. Um, and I'll explain about one of them in a bit. Um, and he's got like, like when I take his, his nappy off, he's got like, red lines like if you was wearing like leggings or jeans or something and you get like red lines where it's too tight or something but you try and squeeze into it anyway um so he's just got that so i'm thinking of just moving them onto threes um but i mean he's 
I was asking everyone at my parent class today and all their babies are still on either size ones or size twos um, and it's a bit kind of like is my baby fat um, so but I mean everyone's different so I know everyone says that but I was reading one of my friends statuses today and they said that the health minister had told her that um, her son was obese which is a bit scary and I know that obviously um, the health minister told me that um, you can overfeed them on formula so I'm a bit worried about that as well which is why I, another reason why I want to go back to breastfeeding uh, I am still breastfeeding I'm doing like a feed in the morning and a feed in the evening before he goes to bed um, and I'm trying to trying to um, pump during the day but I mean the last couple of weeks I've been going out during the day so I'm pretty much the last time I pumped was yesterday and I'm getting about um, one ounce from each breast which is pretty crap to be honest um, so I'm just going to go and talk to the breastfeeding counsellor um, so I'm going to the breastfeeding counsellor um, on Thursday to, to see how that goes um, yeah and um, what else uh, I've also started trying him, trying to give him um, water because he was a little bit well, he wasn't constipated, but um, it would just be, he wouldn't go for a couple of days. And then when he did go, it was like, oh my God. Like, you definitely noticed, you definitely knew that he hadn't been for a couple of days. Um, and even today, um, he went to the toilet and he managed to go through his nappy, through his nappy, through his vest, through his dungarees, and all over his car seat. So I went through almost a whole pack of wipes, um, two nappy bags, all his clothes were like covered in poo, um, and me as well. Oh, and his blanket. Um, so that was fun. And he got it all up his legs, and he got it, he kept putting his feet in it, his hands in it. Um, which was um, really fun, but I'm sure if you you guys have kind of maybe had one of those moments. So um, we've uh, we're going to wash his car seat cover tonight um, after we've gone food shopping. Um, yeah, that's what makes me think that I should move him up to size threes and just stop worrying about you know just because he's in size threes doesn't mean that he's overweight or anything because you know. The, si the sizes of the nappies is on the, the weights of the nappies is on the pack and he does fit into the weights so yeah so I might try that um, and that's Pampers as well um, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even bother trying with Huggies because he was leaking through Huggies um, straight from the beginning so well just for me they don't work so other people they may work but yeah not me um, what else? Um, he's talking. He's talking a lot more now. Um, so I'm trying to give him the dummy less, like only giving him the dummy when he's either going to sleep or when he's fussy or crying, um, because I want him to be able to communicate. And speaking to the health visitor, and they said that they um, associate. They associate the um, the dummy with um, not, you know, not wanting to develop the uh, develop more, and it stalls their speech. Um, and I know that for a fact because my younger sister had to go to speech therapy because my mum g gave her a dummy for too long and didn't take it away. So um, I'm trying not to give it to him too much. Um, he eats his hand he eats his hand all the time um, and so it, it's like he's teething almost because he dribbles everywhere like all the time and it's disgusting yeah um, what's wrong? do you want your hand? there you go um, what else? Um, uh, see? 
Um, what else? He hasn't found, found his thumb, so he's not actually sucking his thumb. He's just like sucking that bit of his hand. But yeah. Um, what else? Uh, his sleep. He's he's uh, he's going from about four or five hours um, through the night, um, like four or five hours, and then he wake wakes up, has a feed, and then he goes back again. So usually he'll go to bed about uh, maybe about between seven and between seven and nine, and then he may wake up like just before we go to bed which is around about 11 12 usually about 10 or 11 because now Matt's back at work um, and then he wakes up at um, 3 or 4 um, and sometimes he's got all he's gone through till 5 and then he'll wake up have a feed and go and that'll take about anywhere between 20 to 40 minutes and then he'll go back to sleep and then he'll wake up again at like um, six or six or seven and then go back to sleep again for another two hours and then wake up again at nine so it's not too bad and um, me and Matt take it in turns doing the feeds um, but he gets really frustrated when I, when I try and um, um, breastfeed him during the night he gets really frustrated because um, because I'm using uh, the Tommy Tippy bottles um, and I'm using the the number one uh, what's this bit called the, the teat thing and that's like the slow the slow flow um, even though it's the slow flow it still comes out quicker than what it would um, when he's on the breast so he gets frustrated because it doesn't come out as quickly and he gets really really like he like stretches his kicks his legs out um, and gets like really stressy um, and even when I take the bottle away from him he gets really stressy and he's like he makes I can't I can't um, repeat the sound he does but it's just like a sort of ah! and it's really funny and he clenches his fists um, and when he strains and goes to the toilet he clenches his fists and strains and it's so funny and he does this little face he's like <laughs> but um what else uh, uh yeah we're probably gonna put him in, in into his in the next week or so maybe depending on how i feel how comfortable i feel with it and um, we're gonna put him into his cot because um my uh my friend has moved in with us now um, and she's having a little boy too, um, so we'll have two babies in the house, um, which will be fun, because Freddie will have a playmate. Um, so the cot and his things, we've kind of moved it all around and stuff, um, so his cot is now in our room. So we're going to see what goes on with that really. Um, for the time being it's easy just to have him next to us in the bed because it means that we don't have to get out of bed to get go and get him and in the morning especially when he gets fussy when he's like sort of in and out of sleep um he he will fuss and then as soon as you put the dummy back in he'll go back to sleep um so it's kind of like if he was in his car i'd have to constantly be getting up up and down all the time um so yeah we're just gonna wait and see what happens with that really um he's grown out of all of in terms of vests and sleep suits, he's grown out of all of his newborn and I think he's got about two or three um, not to three month um, vests and sleep suits left which we're just having to, we're just having to keep washing and reusing because um, he's just so long and I'm not sure if you can see but his feet, when he stretches his feet out, it gets really tight um, so it's quite sad really um, we've had to put all of his stuff into like um, into like storage really um, although um, going through all of it with um, with my friend who's moved in was just like you know showing her what what he wore and when he was first born and all that stuff and then she can use it for her little boy um, so it's it's sad but I mean he'll be in I'm sure it won't be long 
probably in the next week, couple of weeks, that he'll be into three to six months clothes, just just for the length purely because he's just so long. Um, and um, I think that's it really. Um, oh, um, this week, I think, I can't remember when it was. No, it was last week, it was over the weekend, was the first time that we gave him a bath that he actually didn't cry and he smiled in the bath. And it was like, I wish I'd have taken a photo because it was like nearly 10 weeks of obviously bath times and he screams through every single time. And we've tried, you know, changing it up, loads of different options before, before he has a, um, before he goes to sleep, after he's had a sleep, before we feed him, after we feed him, sometimes feeding him during his bath um, with a dummy. Um, we haven't tried one of us being in the bath physically with him. Um, we haven't tried that yet, but I mean, I'm hoping that, that it's just gonna get bed better. Because um, in books, and I've read online that from 10 weeks onwards, they start enjoying it or something, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so that was good. Um, and yeah, I think that's really it about him, really. Oh, I have noticed a little bit, he's getting a bit dry, like just a tiny bit, like dry skin just here on his head. Um, so I'm not sure if that's the beginnings of cradle cap. I don't think so, to be honest. I think it's just dry skin. Um, what is wrong? Um, but yeah, I think that's, I think that's it really. Um, in terms of me, um, I'm not in any pain anymore from the, from my gallbladder although um, I do get really bad stomach pains when I've had something bad that I shouldn't have to eat which is my fault and I know I shouldn't eat it but to be fair I'm only 21 and I actually want to enjoy my life and ha enjoy food I've got the rest of my life to be sensible and I mean I am sensible because I've got a baby but I mean in terms of food you know it's just me that I've got to blame so um, we went to Ikea and um, I was just having such bad crippling stomach pains. Um, so yeah. Um, I'm considering taking him swimming for the first time and obviously now he's had his injections we can actually take, well, we could have taken him swimming before we had his, he had his injections but um, because he hates baths and he hadn't, has, hadn't has in, had his injections and I didn't want to go take him before he'd had his first ones, which were obviously today. So I'm just gonna, and I've got um, one of those swim things from Jojo, Mum and Bebe. So I might take him swimming now. So I'm not too sure, but we'll see. Um, and I'm, hope, I'm hoping to get some pictures of that because I want to just have it, you know, in, have it as the memories um, in his little um, photo album and things. What are you doing? Um, so, yeah, I think that's all really. Um, in terms of me, um, I I weighed myself when we was at Ikea on, on a scales. I'm not sure how accurate it was, but it said that I was, um, I was 12, 12 and a half, 12 and a half-ish, so, and when I did, um, I mentioned in my last video, when I had my booking in, a, booking in appointment, I was 13 stone 10. So I'm below my, um, below my pre-pregnancy weight, um, but I was big to begin with. So it's all good, um, even with the puffiness and swelling of my gallbladder. So it's all good. And I shall do a belly shot. Just got to put the baby down. Um... I'm just trying to think of what else. Oh, in terms of feeding, oh, don't don't cry. In terms of feeding, um, we give him uh, six ounces every, throughout the day. He he will have six ounces, and he'll usually um, finish the whole bottle. If not, he'll have five ounces from it and leave an ounce and then like when he gets fussy he'll then I'll then top him up on it but at night when he wakes up for the first time during the night he'll probably have he'll have anywhere between two two and four ounces and then he'll go back to sleep um so yeah that's about it for bottles and he's on um Cowan Gate formula 
um, and we're using Tommy Tiki bottles, but I don't have it on me right now, but um, when I next do a video or update or something, um, maybe I'll do a quick one Thursday. But anyway, um, my friend, uh, Tanita, um, lent me a Medela bottle, which um, acts like which acts like the breast, where it, it's completely different to like these ones, whereas when you tip them down, they will leak. Uh, well, yeah, they, they will leak. Um, whereas this one, it doesn't leak, um, and the, the baby has to actually physically suck on the on the teat to get the, um, the milk out, so it acts like a breast, and they have to work harder. So I'm hoping that by introducing that bottle, and I gave him a bottle with it today, and he took to it fine. Oi. Um, I'm hoping by doing that and pumping more that, you know, I will be able to get breastfeeding back up again. I know it will, it's not going to be easy, but I just, I want to persevere at it because I know that, you know, it benefits him and it's cheaper and it saves 10 tonne of sterilising and worrying about if you've got bottles. I've already forgot I packed the formula, but I already forgot the bottles today. Um, so yeah, it's just so many extra things to think about. And I forgot his red book for his injections today. So yeah, um, I'll just do a postpartum belly shot and then that will be it. So sorry about all the rambling, but I forget what I'm talking about and then it will suddenly come to me. And I'm sure I'll probably forget something else too. But anyway, um, yeah, I'll quickly do that now. And Freddie's gonna scream, but yeah, I'll have to do. Okay. <laughs> okay, I think you can see me. Right. That's it from the front. Oh, from the side. <laughs> from the front. And the other side, it's like hanging. It's disgusting, but yeah, oh well. <laughs> okay, um, so I will be back for his 10 week update. Um, so yeah, if you have any comments or anything like that, then, <laughs> um, then just leave them in the um, comment section below. I do have a, Facebook page, um, like a fan page type thing, um, um, and it's Gemma Vaughan One, so you can look that up. I'll um, I'll post a link in the down bar so you can go and check that out. Um, I'll just like add updates about um, Freddie and um, pictures and things like that. But I haven't really done much to it at the moment because. I've just been so busy and I don't really know what I'm doing. So, but now I know Gemma's I'm mouth. actually going to do it. Matthew's so mature. Um, there he is. But yeah, um, so yeah, I um, hope everyone is all right and babies are all right and good luck to all those people who are pregnant at the moment or have just had their babies. And yeah, see you guys later. Bye.